Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. Brisk, cool weather on tap for tonight's game between the Utah Running Utes and the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Happy New Year from all of us at EA Sports. This one should be a fun game to watch. Here come the Red Raiders. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game. Kirk, how about your prediction? Texas Tech has an impressive-looking young man at wideout. Watch for them to go to him early and often in this one. He's the big play man in this offense, so look for him to step up and be the difference. I know everyone has been waiting. It's time for my pick. I love Texas Tech in this one. Utah is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Here's the kick. Bell fields it at the two. Good coverage by the kicking team. Yeah, beautiful job of playing their assignments there. Down there on the field at linebacker, we've got one special player. He's the heart and soul of this defense, and they're going to need him today more than ever as they go up against a very talented running back. If there's anyone who can bring the wood to this running back, then it's got to be this linebacker. That's right. He's a tough one. There should be some really good collisions in this game. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Goodbye. They went for the home run, and the wideout came through with a big-time play. Great call here by the offensive coordinator. He knew that he had a chance to get the matchup that he wanted, and they exploited it for a touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Blunt fields it in the end zone. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll set up shot at the 20. Scales lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Looking, throws it to the outside. And it's incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Walker brings him down. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Look at how good this offense has been compared to the rest of the country. I say they're one of the best. Just look at those numbers. Wow. The Utes line up in the power eye formation. They go with the option. Walker with a takedown. They do manage a few yards, but they'll still be faced with a fourth down. Wow. I'm not sure about the uh, play call there, Brad. Fourth and two. Ball on the 28-yard line. 
They line up to punt this one away. Williams back to return. Payne punts it, and it's a good one. Williams fields it at the 26. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. They'll get the ball here at the 31. The Red Raiders set up in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Comes across the middle. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Second and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. The defense lines up with six DB. Going with a nice play fake. Rolling out to the left side. And that one's fallen incomplete. Oh, he had his man too. Yep, he just overthrew him. Next time he might want to take something off of it. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 31. The Red Raiders line up with five receivers. Going. Set to go to the air. Looks. Here's the long ball. Left side. It's tipped. Yeah, we got an injured player on the field. Four and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Texas Tech lining up the punt. Number Punts the ball away. Choice he takes it to 32. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. It's first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Utah comes out in the shotgun. Back to pass. No one open, so he's going to run. Got an opening. He had a whole lot of room to run on that one. When the pressure's coming from the inside and the quarterback can escape the pocket, it usually means he's going to have some room to run. First and 10, ball on the 44. The Utes come out showing three wide. Drops back to pass. Let's it fly. And it's caught. And he's stopped behind the line. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Utah comes to the line with three wide. He's going right. Clark brings him down. A pickup of five. Five. Ball right around midfield. High formation here. Scale. Back to throw. Throws to the middle. Inside the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Utah. This quarterback really knows how to get the ball in the end zone. He's about to tie the NCAA mark for passing touchdowns in a season if he can get just one more. No surprise there. He's been picking apart opposing defenses every game he stepped on the field. And he hits the PAT. A lot of game left. Four minutes remaining in the quarter. And our score, Utah 7, Texas Tech 7.
Utah lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Williams fields it in the end zone. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll start this drive at the 22-yard line. First and 10. Goins lines up with five wide out. Going to the air on first down. Complete Maynard with a takedown. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Oh, yeah. It looks like he hurt his arm on that play. It's second down and three to go. Ball on their own 29. The Red Raiders set up in the gun. He drops back. He's looking. Here comes the pressure. Tolbert comes away with a sack. The tackle got embarrassed that time, allowing the end to come free for the sack. That's what you call a lookout block. The tackle gets beat and yells, look out. Trust me, it's not what you want to hear as a quarterback. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 22-yard line. Goins comes to the line with three wide. He steps up, looking across the middle. Batted ball. That close to being intercepted. He just couldn't find the handle. That poor kid looked like he was trying to catch a greased pig. Easy, Scooter. At least he kept the receiver from making the play. They line up to pump this one away. He gets it off. And this one's going to go out of bounds at the 41-yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 45-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back on first down. Has it to the senior. There's a missed tackle. Brought down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision-making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First, first and ten. ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Yeah. They'll line up in the power eye. They go with the option. Now he pitches it. He's hit and got away. Butler brings him down. About four yards on that play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 31-yard line. The Utes go with the eye formation. Throw short. He's got the fullback. It'll go down as a completion, but they won't get much for it. Yep, just a wasted play right there. Third and five. Ball on the 30. The Utes come out showing three wide. There's the play fake. Feeling the pressure. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Guys, the pressure was intense, but he let it fly into the end zone anyway. Unfortunately, none of his receivers could get to the football. That's a great play by the defense to make him throw the ball before he wanted to. They have to try to convert here. Scales. Goes with the play fake. It's deflected. And the D answered the call there. And this is huge for them. It's setting up the stage for their offense to take the field and make some big-time plays. They'll, They'll set up shot at the 30. First and 10. 
The Red Raiders come out in the ace formation. A little shake and make move. Nicholas with a takedown. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. It's second down and four to go. Ball on their own 36. Texas Tech lines up with three receivers. Going, drops the throw, looks, he's rolling left, throws back across field. Incomplete pass. The tailback dropped that ball. Yeah, his technique was all off. He's got to do a better job next time. Third and four. Ball on the 36-yard line. Texas Tech comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Humphrey brings him down. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. The Red Raiders are lining up to punt it away. He gets it away. Choice fields it at the 17. At the 40. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll go to work at the 43. On the ground with the tailback. And he's hit hard. They got four yards on that one. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 47. Utah lines up with three receivers. He's looking down the middle. Got his man. Campbell with a takedown. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result was a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. And they'll run him again. Nice. With a monster hit. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 30. They line up in the shotgun. It's a direct snap. And now he's got room to run. Fumble! Defense has it. It's one of the corners. They turn the ball over to the defense with that fumble, and the head coach has got to be upset with his halfback after that one. Any coach would be upset after his running back fumble. The first thing a running back learns is how to grip and secure the football. Now, hopefully he shakes it off and forgets about it. There's nothing he can do now. They'll start this drive at the 25. At the 25-yard line. First and 10. Going with four wide receivers. Going with a nice play fake. Finds the true freshman. Anderson with a takedown. What a throw and catch, guys. I'll tell you what, this young kid has a real gun for an arm. He sizes up the play well and then gets the ball out of there. It's second down and two to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. And we're all tied up at the end of the first quarter. Second and two. Ball on the 33. On the ground with 
the tailback. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. The Red Raiders line up in a goal line formation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. They'll drop him for a loss. Three plays and out, guys. It sounds simple. You've got three plays to get 10 yards. But trust me, sometimes that's not as easy as it sounds. Texas Tech lining up the punt. Morris punts it, and it's a good one. Choice takes it to 25. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. They'll get the ball here at the 31-yard line. the drive at the 31-yard line. First and 10. Power eye set. Scale. On play action. Going deep. The ball is high, and he got it. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. First and ten. Ball on the 16. The Utes come out showing three wide. Wants to throw outside. The ball is tipped. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That might be the biggest drop of the game so far. Yeah, he did a heck of a job in coverage. He just didn't finish the play. And that's why I guess he's not a wide receiver. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers, setting up the play action. Go into the end zone. It falls incomplete. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it, but the defender stepped up and made the play. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 16. They better block that linebacker. He is looking to make something happen. Got it. Great concentration. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Boy, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. They put everyone up on the line. Walker brings him down. Good push up front as a quarterback plows ahead for the first. Utah lines up in the power eye set. Scale. Options out to the right. And now he pitches it. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. They line up in an eye. With the play fake, he rolls out to the left. He's right there for the interception. At the 30, and now it's a foot race. Across midfield, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Texas Tech. And that was about the worst thing you could ask for. Oh, that hurts. The worst thing that can happen. And now you've got to regroup and try to get back on the field for another set of downs.
And he tacks on the extra point. So with just under five minutes remaining in the second quarter, the score, Texas Tech 14, Utah 7. It looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Blunt fields it in the end zone. The defense bent about as far back as you can that last series before getting the interception. Hey, a defense can do somersaults or even a triple sow cows just as long as they keep the offense out of the end zone. Did you just say sow cow? Yep. I dated right, one back in college. Two. Man, we'll could she cook. The They'll take here. over at the 20. High formation here. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. Scale. Hot, hot. To the air on first down. Across the middle. And it's picked off. And the defense comes up with another one. Hey, good job by that defense to get the ball back. They'll set up shot at the 22. At the 22-yard line. First and 10. From the gun. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Carroll brings him down for a loss. The halfback couldn't get any running room. And that was because the defense had called a blitz just at the right time. They went right through the offensive line and nailed him for a loss. Utah has one of the toughest defenses we've seen. I agree 100%. Just look at what they've done so far. Some very impressive numbers. Well, this attacking defense is very, very athletic, and they're also well coached. That's why they're in the top ten. Terrific pass, and the wideout hauls it in for the touchdown. Brad, the wide receiver's draft was the key on that play. You're right, Kirk. His drop running really has improved, and the quarterback has been throwing his weight a lot more. And he hits the PAT. Over four minutes remain in the second quarter, and our score is Texas Tech 21, Utah 7. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Here's the kick. Blunt fields it in the end zone. I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing a pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't intimidated. And how many times did you go right back in there and throw another pick? As you know, a quarterback needs a short memory, so I really don't remember, Scooter. You know better than that. <laughs> Six DBs in the lineup. Scales drops back on first down. Throws this one out to the left. It's deflected. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. Second and 10. Ball on their own 21. Three wideouts here. Back to pass. Looking. Throws it deep downfield. Batted ball. And it's incomplete. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk. But you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. 
Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 21. Watch the linebacker. He's the star of the defense, and he's in the zone right now. Drops back to pass. Short toss. Got it to the senior. Three and out. Yeah, the defense did a great job of winning that series. Four and six. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Utes line up to punt. Williams. Payne gets it off. Williams calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 35. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. They'll start this drive at the 35-yard line. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Red Raiders come out in a shotgun. Covington with a takedown. So the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. Second, Second and nine, nine coming up here. Ball on the 36-yard line. Yard line. <laughs> the Red Raiders set up in the gun. Looks, throws to the middle. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on their own 36. The Red Raiders come out in the ace formation. Going back to throw. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Wants to go long and does. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. That's just airing it out on third down. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Texas Tech in a four-wide set. They'll throw on first down. Steps up. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete pass. With that pressure, he just couldn't do much with it. His chance of accuracy on that throw was practically zero. Good job by the defense. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Nickel defense. He drops back. He steps up, looking. Throws this one out to the left. They'll bring him down. They get five yards on the play. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Going is back in the gun, steps up in the pocket, looks, he's going left. He's almost scoring at will out there. Was that his third touchdown catch of the half? Yeah, this guy's in his zone. He's catching every single ball thrown his way. Boy, I'd hate to be the defensive back down there. It looks like the quarterback is picking on him. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over two minutes left in the second quarter, our score, Texas Tech 28, Utah 7. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Texas Tech is lined up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Choice fields it in the end zone. Yeah, we got an injured player on the field.
First and ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. First and ten. The Utes come out showing three wide. And he throws it to his quarterback. Tackle. I don't think the defense was quite ready for that one, and they give up a first down and good yardage. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 29. Gets the ball. Don't have faked it. Going deep. Lays it out there. At the 30. To the 20. Goodbye. Touchdown, Utah. And he hits the PAT. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Texas Tech 28, Utah 14. turn on this one Bell fields it at the two a little juke thanks to some nice passing on the last drive the offense was able to take it down the field for six and great play calling to help make that an easy drive the question is can they do it again they'll get the ball here at the 20 the Red Raiders come out in a shotgun Bernard brings him down. Texas Tech takes a timeout. It's second down and four to go. Ball on their own 26. Goins lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Utah calls a timeout. Third and 11. Ball on the 19. Six DBs in the lineup. Gibson takes a handoff. And they hit him in the backfield. Utah takes a timeout. The Red Raiders are lining up to punt it away. Morris gets it off. Choice fields at the 44. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 45. The Utes set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. He steps up, rolls to the right, over the middle. Clark with a takedown. They pick up a good six yards there. Second and four. Ball right around midfield. 
the Utes line up with three wide. Throws in a hurry. It's deflected. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. It's third down and four to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Power eye set. Scale. Running the option with the spin. Thorn with a monster hit. Zero yards on that play. Utah, ready to put this one away. Clark, back deep to return. He punts this one high in the air. Campbell signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 11. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll go to work at the 11-yard line. Texas Tech Texas lines up in a goal line set. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. Second, Second and 11 11. coming up. Ball on the 10-yard line. Yeah. Texas Tech lines up in a shotgun set. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Texas Tech 28, Utah 14. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Choice fields it in the end zone. Yuku. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at the 22. At the 22-yard line, first and 10. The Utes line up with four wideouts. Scale drops back. He's going right, and he can't hang on to it. Now, Coach, I know that pass was a bullet, but you still have to look it in and catch it. He tried to catch it. It just bounced right off his hands. Maybe they ought to get him practicing with one of those jug machines in practice. That'll at least get him used to catching bullet passes. The Utes line up in the power eye formation. Hot. Hot. And they got him for a loss. Third down, 15. Ball on their own 17. Ball on the 17 yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Scale. Steps back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. To the middle. It's his tight end. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. High formation here. Scale. Hands it off. No, play fake. He appears to have been injured on the play.
Second and long. Ball on the 26. Scale. Drops back to pass. Throw. The senior makes the catch. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. This defense better be careful. The quarterback is in the zone and really feeling it out there. He drops back, bounces off the would-be tackler. He's going to take off. The playmaker on this defense is the linebacker. But until he shows up, they'll continue to play from behind. Yeah, I was expecting to hear his name called a lot more on tackles in the first half. Me too, Kirk. All week we've heard of how this kid flies to the ball and is in on every play. But we haven't seen that today. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 19-yard line. Take over at the 19-yard line. First and 10. They line up in a double tight set. Brown tackles him for a loss on the play. Great pursuit by the defense to stop the outside run. Yeah, the halfback was trying to get to the corner, but he had no luck at all there. Second it's second down and 12 to go. Ball, ball on the 17. Texas Tech comes to the line with three Hut. wide. Hut. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Going deep on the left side. Incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Third down and 12. Ball on their own 17. Going. There's five receivers lined up here. Over the middle. Complete. And they make the stop. And that's three and out. And if you're the defensive coordinator, you deserve a pat on the back. They line up to punt this one away. Morris gets it off. Choice fields it at the 38. And they're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punch. They'll set up shot at the 38. Texas Tech lines up in a dime defense here. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. It falls incomplete, and he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 38. Scales has four receivers lined up here. Scales, back to throw. Wants to throw outside. It's a tip drill. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 46. And the man at wideout is in a zone right now. Scale. Hopkins out. And he's tackled. Two-yard carry by the fullback. Three. 
Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 44-yard line. If anyone can force a turnover right now, then it's the man at linebacker. And it's caught, and down he goes. He caught it, but the reward was minimal. I don't know, Brett. I don't know what the quarterback saw, but hey, at least it wasn't a sack or an interception. Third down and seven, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. They come out in a nickel. There's a play fake. Throws it to the outside. Got it. Knocked out of bounds. It's first and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. Scales. Comes to the line with three wide up the middle. And now he's got room to run. And they make the stop. He got a really nice gain on that run. I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box. Coach, maybe they can slow this running game down. You're right, Kurt. Heck, I could run through those holes. First, First and ten. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Ace backfield. Throw short. Complete. There he goes. Clark brings him down. Let me say this right away. That pass just put the quarterback over 300 yards passing. Sweet. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone. When performance matters the most. They put everyone up on the line. He'll get the call again. The big guy with room to run. Touchdown, Utah. He showed some explosive power on that run to the end zone. He's a very physical fullback, but he's got the grace of a halfback. And he tacks on the extra point. So under three minutes to go in the third quarter. And the score, Texas Tech 28, Utah 21. ready to kick this one off. He kicks it. Williams fields it at the two. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 21-yard line. We'll start the drive at the 21-yard line. First and 10. The Red Raiders with four receivers. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Wants to throw outside. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 21. Going has four receivers lined up here. Going with a nice play fake. Throws this one out to the left. Dropped by the wideout. Third and ten. Ball on the 21 yard line. They come out in a five wide set. Steps up, looking. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete pass. Well, again, they can't hook up, and it'll bring up fourth down. Fourth 
They come out in a punt formation. Morris gets it off. Choice fields it at the 42. Inside the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Utah. And in the blink of an eye, he was gone. Brad, this kid is special. He just proved once again that he can make the big time play. the PAT and just over two minutes left here in the third the score is Utah 28 Texas Tech 28 Looks like they're ready for the kick. Utah is lined up for the kickoff. Bell. We should have a return on this one. Williams fields it at the three. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll take over at the 21-yard line. And the impact linebacker has turned it up a notch. He's going to air it long. And it falls incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 21. They'll work from the shotgun. Going, drops back. He's going left. And it's incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Third and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. Texas Tech comes out in the shotgun. Going, back to pass. Throws. Batted ball. Not a good series there throwing the ball. Three and out. And they were all incompletions. Four and ten. Ball on the 21 yard line. The Red Raiders are lining up the punt and away. Number eight. Morris gets it off. Joyce fields at the 44. He may have been seriously injured on that play. Oh, I feel sorry for that poor kid. You hate to see kids get hurt that way. They'll start this drive at the 44. First and 10. Taken down. Three yards there on the play. Second it's second down and seven. seven to go. Ball, Ball on the 47. The Utes run. come out in the power eye. Gets another hand up. He jukes it. Tackle. The running back gets two on the carry. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 49. Hot. 
scale. Drop to throw. Across the middle. Fumble. Loose ball. A nice recovery there by the cornerback. He's used to going after interceptions, but a turnover is a turnover, and he'll take it any way he can get it. I couldn't agree with you more, Tony. Thanks, Kirk. That's what I like to hear. Anytime. First and ten. Ball on their own 40. First and ten. Texas Tech sets up with four receivers. Going on first down with the throw. And it's caught. Fenner brings him down for a loss. They're stopped two yards behind the line. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Nickel defense. Drops back to pass. He steps up. Looks. He's going left. And he's all the way down to the 34. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. First and 10. Ball on the 34 yard line. Going is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. Picked off. And they make the stop. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 36. Utah lines up with three receivers. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's stopped behind the line. And the tailback stopped behind the line on the draw. And that'll do it for the third quarter. And at the end of three... The scoreboard dead even. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 33. Scales comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. Makes a move. And now he's going to run. He's got an opening. They'll bring him down. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody open downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. <laughs> Sometimes it's as simple as it sounds. Good defensive call. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 40. The Utes come out in the shotgun. Back to pass. Down the middle. Got it. Butler with a takedown. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Utes set up in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Got it to the senior. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. And this impact linebacker is fired up down there. He jukes. Robert brings him down. Three-yard gain by the running back. It's second down and seven to go. This is the sixth play of this drive. 
Utah comes to the line with three wide. Steps up in the pocket. He's into the open field. Sheds a tackler, and he's taken down. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters the most. They'll throw on first down. Over the middle. The pass was right there. Just couldn't be controlled. Just tied in some more passes in practice. He needs all the help he can get. Second and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They line up in an eye. Tries to juke. Tackle. A two-yard run by the halfback. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Utes come out to shotgun. Snap is high. Lawrence. Brings him down for a loss. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot at breaking clean. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. The kick is up. And it's good. And that field goal is going to put him on top. Hey, Brad, you talk about clutch players? This kid is sensational. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Kicks it off. Williams passes at the five. Defense won the last battle as they were able to pick the ball off. Who's going to win this time? They'll get the ball here at the 26. Four wide. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the left. Got it to him on the run. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Ball on the, 49-yard line. the Red Raiders come out showing three wide. Comes across the middle. Almost intercepted. The quarterback really lucked out there. I thought they had a chance for an interception, but I'm sure they'll settle for the incompletion. It still was a good play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Texas Tech. Lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking down the middle. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. The defense now has two interceptions in the ball game. And that's two more than the quarterback wanted to throw. Now he's got to go back out there and play smarter football when the offense takes the field again. You're right, Coach. The quarterback has to be able to put that out of his mind and act like it never happened. Which one? First or second interception? I say both. They'll go to work at the 49. Start the drive at the 49-yard line. First and 10. They line up in an eye. Scale. Back to throw. He's looking. Rolling out to the right side. Throws it to the outside. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down.
First and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Utes with four receivers. Scales. Drops back on first down. Complete loss of a yard. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 28. Utah comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Scale. Set to go to the air. Down the middle. Batted ball. Good job by the corner to get a hand on it. Third and 11. Ball on the 28-yard line. Scale is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. He drops back. Let's it go. And it's dropped. And he's hit hard. Nothing going on that one. Sets up for the attempt, and by no means will this make the lead safe, but at least a field goal can't beat them. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac, fuel for the soul. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Williams back to return. Kicks it off. Williams takes it at the four. Defense won the last battle as they were able to pick the ball off. Who's going to win this time? They'll take over at the 22. First and 10. Going is back in the gun. He steps up. Deep pass down the left side. And it's caught. And he's tackled. Move those sticks. That's a first down and a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Well, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. First and ten, ball on the 34. Going, drop back to pass. Across the middle, it's deflected. Great range as he's able to break up the pass. I know that the safety makes a good play here, but as a receiver, you got to get in there and play some defense. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. So it's second and ten, ball on the 34-yard line. The Red Raiders set up in the gun. He lets it go. Complete. He's knocked out of bounds. That's a loss of about three. Third down, 13. Ball on the 37. They'll work from the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. They'll make the sack. And the big fella gets a sack. Boy, for being such a hog molly, he can move a lot better than I thought. Oh, yeah, Kirk. You didn't call him hog molly when we saw him at the hotel.
Texas Tech ready to put this one away. Morris gets it off. Bernard calls for the fair catch, and he can't hang on to the ball. He let that one get away from him. And Brad, any time a player mucks a return like that, it sticks around the back of his mind. You need to just forget about it and move on. Shotgun formation. Let's see if they run the draw here. Here's a handoff left side. We got a tie ball game. He got behind those big buffet busters and followed them into the end zone. <laughs> that doesn't do a whole lot of yards to carry out the game. It sure puts a dent in the scoreboard. the PAT, though with just over two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Our score, Texas Tech 35, Utah 34. Ready to kick this one off. Texas Tech is lined up for the kickoff. Kicks it deep. Blunt fields it in the end zone. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. They'll set up shot at the 24-yard line. Utah comes out of the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. Got his man. Brought down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42. They come out with three wide receivers. Back to pass. He's going left. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond him down the field. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 48. Scale is in the zone and looking to make a play. Drops back to pass. Has some daylight. Gets past the tackler. Clark with a takedown. He had a whole lot of room to run on that one. When the pressure is coming from the inside and the quarterback can escape the pocket, it usually means he's going to have some room to run. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Scale comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down, across the middle, and it's caught. Campbell brings him down. About a seven-yard pickup that time on the pass. Right. It's second down and three to go, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. There's a fumble, and who's got it? One of the defensive linemen. Not a good time to fumble a football. And that guy feels horrible about it. He's got to forget about it. Go out there and play hard the next time they hit the field. And believe me, this kid wants another chance to redeem himself. He won't fumble again. First and ten. Ball on their own 23. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Tolbert with a takedown. Utah calls a timeout.
Second down and short. Ball on the 33. Yeah. Going with the shotgun here. On the ground with the tailback. And he's drilled. Utah takes the timeout. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on the 32 yard line. The Red Raiders line up with four wideouts. Got an opening. Eugene brings him down. Utah calls a timeout. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. We'll kneel on it here as they count the seconds down. And he takes a knee. Second and 11. This is the fifth play of this drive. They line up in the jumbo set. Penny gets the call. And he's tackled. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Third and 11 coming up here. And this is the sixth play of the drive. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And that's pretty much going to do it. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? This is why I'm up here with you guys. Coaching a game like this might give you a heart attack. Texas Tech really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. We look forward to calling more games of NCAA Football 2006. But until then, our final score in this one, Texas Tech 35, Utah 34. From all of us here at EA Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for attending today's ball game.